The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner, the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. The Gospel that we heard is indeed very rich in meaning. Thus, it invites us to look at two perspectives. One is that the lessons that it could bring to us as individuals, and at the same time, the challenges that it brings, that it offers us as a church in mission. As individuals, as lessons, to us as individuals, the gospel today offers to us the narrative of the disciples, the apostles of Jesus, going fishing and catching nothing. Nangisda ang mga manging isda at ni isang isda walang nahuli. Seem to be na mas matalino pa yung isda kaysa manging isda. Alam nila kung saan ang manging isda nandun kaya hindi pumunta. They were there overnight but they were not able to catch anything. This somehow you know, reflects our lives as individuals that at, as it goes on, as it goes through a journey, we face moments, nights, where we are you know, where we go fishing and we're not able to catch anything. Times of challenges and difficulties. Mayroon tayo mga pagkakataon na ganyan, ano? Yung bad tipong ginawa mo na lahat, pero parang walang nangyayari. This was the very experience of the apostles you know, during that day or during that night. And so, what did they do? 
what did they do? This, I think, are the lessons for us as individuals. One thing that they did was to listen. Maybe out of desperation, meron lang silang narinig sa isang taong na hindi man lang nila kilala nandun sa shore. They listened. They listened. And so, I think, when we are facing moments of challenges, moments of troubles in our lives, this is a very good lesson for us to know how to listen, to listen to others, to friends, to families, to experts, to listen, but most especially to listen to Jesus. This was what the apostles did. And because of that, after a night of catching nothing, they were able to catch plenty. So as individuals, a good lesson for us is to listen. Another lesson I think that it offers us is that it enlightens us that in these challenging moments that we face in our lives, God's presence, Jesus' presence is always there for us even if we do not notice it. Last night, I, saw, I was watching a documentary with a title of The Pope Answers. And this was a documentary of a meeting of the Pope, of our Pope, Pope Francis, you know, with the young people of today. And what the young people did was to express you know, their frustrations, their anger, their individuality to the Pope. And they showed the Pope the challenges they, that they are facing. And one of the challenges is that you know, they sometimes feel that God is not present in their lives. And so the Pope did what, was, what the Pope assured them is that God, Jesus, is always present in their lives, even in their trying moments. Ang words nga niya is, Jesus' presence is there even in hiding. Yan nga, parang yung gospel na nabasa natin ngayon, ano? The disciples were not able to recognize Him. Seems to be that Jesus was in hiding. But the truth is, Jesus was there with them. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is a very good lesson for us as individuals. That as we face the challenges in our lives, we must believe, we must have faith that Jesus is present even in the most trying moments of our lives. And the last lesson that I think we could learn as individuals in this gospel today is to trust the providence of God. The providence of God might not be as extravagant as we want it to be. Sometimes kapag humingi tayo sa Diyos, ano gusto natin yung talagang sobrang-sobra but the Lord God, you know, could offer what we want. But I think what He offers to us, what He provides us, is most especially what we need, the basics. And that is why, after a very tiring night, what Jesus did to the disciples, to the apostles, was to pray for them breakfast. A simple breakfast at that. Hindi siya buffet, ano, ang pinipay ng ating Panginoong Kristo. It was a breakfast. But it suffices the needs of these hungry fishermen. God provides to us. It might not be, it might not be as extravagant as we want it to be. But I think when He provides, He provides what we truly need and what is best for us. What we need then as individuals is to trust in His providence. Kapag ka nandun na kasi yung challenging moments of our lives, we sometimes forget God's presence and God's providence. So when we face challenging moments in our lives, I think it is good for us to remember God's providence for us. These are the lessons that the gospel offered to us as individuals. But if you're going to look at it in the perspective of the church, I think the gospel offers to us the narrative of the disciples going on a boat, going fishing. And I think for us, 
the disciples going on a boat reminds us of the symbol of our church as a barca, as a barco. That we, we as a church, in mission, goes fishing. Ito yung paulit-ulit na naririnig natin sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, no? challenging all of us to go fish our brothers and sisters who are lost at sea. So when we go fishing, we go on a boat. And as a church, we go on a boat to fish, to proclaim the presence of God to the world. And so how do we proclaim it? What are the challenges that our gospel today offers us as a church? One thing is to cast that net. Ibig sabihin, we have to proclaim Jesus in our lives. It may not be in our words. It could be in our deeds. Sometimes kasi pag sinasabi natin, oh, to proclaim the word of God, naku, napaka-challenging yan. Hayaan na lang natin yung mga madre at mga pari, mga brothers na mag-proclaim ng salita ng Diyos. Sila yung may alam dyan. No. As individuals, we have that capacity. We have that responsibility to proclaim the word of God. Thus, all of us are included in that barca, in the church. All of us are called to cast that net for us to be able to catch the fish. And one important thing for us to be able to cast that net, to proclaim the good news of our salvation, is to listen to Jesus. Ito yung connection ng bakit natin kailangang makinig sa ating Panginoong Yeso Cristo. Because as a church, we are called to proclaim His kingdom to our brothers and sisters. And for us to be able to effectively proclaim His kingdom, we need to be, to be able to listen to Jesus. As a church too, we need to be the hands and feet of Jesus, recognizing His continuous presence in our lives. This gives us and shows us our you know, responsibility to share that presence to our brothers and sisters by reaching out to them, by being the presence of Jesus of God to our brothers and sisters. Sana yung ating mga kapatid that are experiencing a challenging moment in their lives, in their faith, could experience Jesus in us. Hindi lang sana sila makakaranas ng presensya ng Diyos kapag ka nakapunta sa manawag. Sana na kahit nakasama natin sila sa trabaho, sa eskwela, sa bahay, nararamdaman nila yung presensya ng Diyos sa atin. Becoming the hands and feet of Jesus. And most especially, one of the challenges that this gospel today offers to us, you know, as, that, as, as God, as Jesus you know, provided a table, a breakfast for the apostles, we too are challenged to invite our brothers and sisters to our fold, to our family, regardless of who they are, regardless of what they believe in. Ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo invited our disciples or His disciples, His apostles, even in their failures, even in their unbelief. Tandaan natin na nung pinako ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, isa-isang nagtakbuhan ang mga apostoles ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. But what He did was to offer them a table, to offer them breakfast accepting who they are and what they did. This, as a church, is a very big challenge for all of us to accept our brothers and sisters who may be considered by our society as the least, the last, and the lost. Yung pinanood ko kagabi na, na documentary, The Pope Answers, you know, gave, showed the Pope uh, very striking words. Ang sabi niya kasi dun sa gathering na yon, this is the path of the church. 
Yung gathering daw na yon is the path of the church. And what was that gathering? Exactly the challenge of this gospel. A table, a meeting of individuals who have their own characters, who have their own struggles, who have their own personalities. But in that meeting, makikita mo yung ngiti nila, even in their, you know, even in their differences. Magkakaiba. Pero ang saya nung experience nila, nung nakita nila ang Santo Papa, nung nagkaroon sila ng meeting ng Santo Papa. And so, for all of us who are members of this church, I think that is a very big challenge for us to accept our brothers and sisters with joy, whoever they are, whatever they believe in. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the Easter event is an Easter not only for us as individuals, but also for us as a church. May the joy of Easter continue to push us as individuals to discover the joy of the presence of Jesus in our lives. And in discovering that joy in our lives, may we share it to our brothers and sisters who may be lost at the moment, who may be out at sea in the moment and not able to catch anything. May we bring that joy to them, bringing them the presence of Jesus, His providence, and His voice to them.